Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you exactly a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install live wallpapers on your PC. This is a completely free guide and it improves dynamic characteristics to your PC. This however uses a bit of your PC GPU power, so if you have a pretty good PC, like a good graphics card, then this should be all good for you. But if you have a low end PC, then you might want to switch back to a static wallpaper if you find this like slowing down your games or slowing down your computer's performance. One more thing, there are timestamps in this video so you can skip forwards or backwards to different parts if you need help. And also comment down below problems you're having and I'll try and help you out. Other than that, let's get on with the video. Alright, so step one is to right click and make a new folder called Live Wallpapers. And this is basically where you'll be keeping all your live wallpapers so you'll be able to access them in the app we're going to download. So the next thing you want to do is go to any browser. I'm going to go to Google Chrome and search up desktop live wallpaper. You want to find the one with the Microsoft link and the Microsoft apps. Click on that. Click on install right here. And then it'll tell you to open the Microsoft store. Click on that. And yep, you'll get a window or a full window on the Microsoft store. What you do is click on get and don't worry this is completely free and easy to use. Wait for the installation to complete. Alright as you can see the installation is complete you can uh, click out of that. Now once you've opened the app you'll be in the home section over here. What you want to do is go to the left side and to the uh, collections tab. And when you're here you'll say no wallpapers found click on the browse button here. What you want to do before browsing or anything is to download your preferred wallpapers. And then what you want to do is convert them to a file that is file friendly for this app. Now go back to your browser, go to this website, go to mylivewallpapers.com. When you're here, you'll see a bunch of different wallpapers that you can use and download. And it's completely free as well, so don't worry about if you need to pay or anything. You can search or go through filters. I'm just going to search for space. We'll find something I like. You can uh, click on it to view. This looks pretty interesting. Yeah, this looks perfect for me. Um, what you want to do is then scroll down a little bit and then you can download a HD version or a 4K version. If you have a 4K monitor or 4K computer, then you can download the 4K version. Because I don't have it, I'm just going to download the normal 1920 by 1080p one. Click on download. As you can see on the top right, it's being downloaded. You can wait a bit. Alright, once it's downloaded, what you want to do is go to another tab and go to this website called cloudconvert.com. And what this is, is a uh, file conversion website where you can convert any image or any video to another format of the image or video. So what you want to do is click on select file and open it where you saved. As you can see, I saved it here in my downloads folder. I'm going to convert it to video to an WMV. Now the reason we're doing this is because we're not in the pro version of this app, we're in the free version. The free version requires a WMV file. So yeah, let's click on WMV, click on convert. This can take some time so I'll be back. Then there'll be a download button, just click on that. It'll be downloading. And for me it didn't ask where to download it, it just automatically puts in a downloads file if it asks you where to download. What you want to do is select your live wallpapers folder. So yeah, mine is done. I want to go to my uh, downloads folder. Yeah, this is my downloads folder. This is it, the WMV file. Just drag into your live wallpapers. Now once you have your wallpapers here, go back to the app, click on browse, and locate the live wallpapers file on your desktop. Click on it and click on select folder. And then you can see my space ones right here. If you have more, if you download multiple, it'll be like multiple ones right here. But I only have one, so what you want to do is double click on that. And yes, yeah, right here, as you can see, it's working. It's fully working. It's moving and everything. Um, if you go to an app and go back, it's gonna stop. But to re, but to continue the video, just click on the screen anywhere. And yep, it'll be working. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, then it will be greatly appreciated if you left to subscribe. It will be a win-win for both of us. You'll get more tutorials like this in the future, and it can benefit me in the long run. And if you're feeling generous, you can leave a like. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.